Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I have no idea what's in here. It was sent to me by John. Thank you very much, John. This is, of course, whatever it is, is a loaner item. So it'll go back to John when I'm done. Uh, but I'm excited to check it out. If it's something I can link, I will link it right down in the description for you guys. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. Link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. So, let's be very careful so we don't cut into the actual contents. Do I need to make another? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Very much loving the, the new scalpel. Mm, tape. Be nice. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, McNeese. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, McNeese. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. So, I got a note here. Wonderful. <laughs> um, I know exactly what this is now. Hello, Mr. Metal Complex. This is my first time sending you anything. Should be fun. This is the blank in Blue Anno and Honeycomb in Graves Hills. Cool. Um, and then he says McNeese did the laser engraving form. Uh, I don't care about Instagram. Please give McNeese a shout out on my behalf instead. I had an amazing customer. Uh, I had an amazing customer service uh, experience with them. They truly do treat you like family. Good people. That's awesome to hear. USA made and uh, great customer service. So wonderful. Uh, you guys know I've reviewed the smaller one, right? So, and and also another knife actually from him. So, somewhat familiar, but I've never had a personal experience. But so it's nice to hear firsthand account. Uh, anyways, like many knife collectors, I am irrationally worried about my knives looking used. <laughs> I know it's dumb, but I can't help myself. So feel free to disassemble. Please do so with care, etc. Absolutely, completely understand. I do that myself. I have my users, and I got my safe queens. So I totally understand. Let's get this guy out. And take a look. So this is the full size one. If you guys remember in my review, the smaller one, I specifically said I might have a different opinion because I, I like the small one was cool. There was just a couple little things, but I feel like a lot of my nitpicks were surrounded, you know, I they were valid criticisms, but I feel like a larger one might put them might put this in, yeah, right off the bat. Positioning a thumb stud feels much more natural for me. I was upset about the feel and positioning of things on the smaller one because of, you know, my hands. This automatically feels better. And look at this. Yeah, the action is very, very good. Um, and ease of manipulation, just because the larger one has things, has everything in it, just a more ergonomic location. Yeah. I also like this in this size a lot more. Um, What's different here? Why does this feel, why does this feel different? This feels a lot more polished than the first one that I had. It can't just be because of the Anno, but even like corners and things. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's my mind playing tricks on me or if there's something different about the fit and finish with this guy. I uh, still wish we had a dedicated over treble stop. It's okay to not have a lock bar insert, but on a lot of these newer knives, the lock bar insert is the over travel stop. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, the pocket clip tension can serve as kind of a, uh, it's the mitigation, I guess, but this can be bent all the way over if you, you know, pushed it too hard. It's not likely, would be nice though. Uh, and it would also be nice to get a full 3D machine pocket clip. Then again, if I'm going to come down on McNeese for that, I should admit that Hinderer knives, <laughs> and Strider knives, uh, Demco knives, a lot of these, you know, American uh, production knife makers in this caliber are not doing full 3D machined titanium pocket clips. So um, it might... I, I should at least say that, you know, they, they should all be doing it too if I'm going to criticize here. Oh boy, I like this a lot better. I like this a lot better. Uh, love the blade shape, definitely. Love the stone washed finish here. Um, so this is the uh, McNeese um, PM Mach 
3.5. I believe I said that correctly. Um, so the, uh, you know, the one that I reviewed was just the smaller one. And I think it's probably, you know, it's probably the same kind of experience I had with the XM18 3 inch. I just don't like it. I just, it doesn't feel as natural, you know, manipulating. It doesn't feel as natural because the thing is so small. So you're awkwardly cramping your hand. And on top of that, the three inch XM had a flipper tab, which I don't like at all in that knife. This, the three inch version of this did not, but the thumb studs just feel so much easier, so much more welcome. Uh, did he change them? I don't think so. I can't remember if they had that line in there or not. But this is full, like truly, you know, people say, why are they so expensive? Because it's actually all made in the USA. Not coming down on any other companies, but a lot of other companies that make stuff in the USA that are coming in at half the price are making a lot of stuff in the USA, but some of those pieces and parts are outsourced. Stuff like this is going to cost a lot more money because they are doing it small batch. The operation itself is also not a large operation, right? So they can't depend on mass volume of the item that they're creating to, you know, create enough profit for the business to stay going. Um, and then they're also, as far as I understand, making everything or just about everything in-house. So, yeah, it's going to be more expensive, right? The types of prices on stuff like this are, you know... A lot of times, you know, they're a lot more justified than a lot of people think. Now, if you watch this, you know, if you know, if you're well-versed in this, you know, territory of the knife world, then you're like, yeah, I know, right? But sometimes it can be hard for newer people to understand. How come that costs as much as a gun? Well, <laughs> yeah, took the words right out of your mouth, I'm sure. Um, but, um, yeah, there's a, there's a reason behind it, for sure. Um, I've got lots of videos on it uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to learn about why that is. Um, but, uh, you know, just like all other things that exist, you can buy them or not buy them. And, uh, in either case, it probably, you know, won't make a whole lot of difference in your day-to-day -day life. Um, but this sure is much more preferable getting back to the knife. Sorry. Uh, this is much more preferable than the smaller one. I like this a lot more, uh, very much. So this is, uh, just an unboxing and first impressions. Not a full review. You guys will get a full comprehensive review once I've had an opportunity to uh, experience the knife. Uh, super smooth, too. It's another thing. The action on that guy feels way better than the small one. And I'm sure it's because the weight and mass of the blades, it's, it's probably helping a little bit, but it feels a lot more consistent as well. I'm wondering if the three inch that I handled was older and this is much newer. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe that's the case, right? But uh, I don't know, maybe not. Could be, could just be in my head. Um, that's gonna be about it for today, though. Thanks again uh, to John for loaning me your knife for review. I'll make sure and take care of it. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you'd like to check out my other content. I do, of course, I have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.